Zion Lutheran Church and Schools for part of our Sacred Arts Festival tour with Rodolfo. Please uh, tell us your title, and I believe you're an elder. Uh, I'm an elder on the on this uh, church here. Uh, our uh, senior pastor is uh, Roger Freak, and then we have also the Spanish uh, ministries. Is, uh, our pastor is uh, Felipe Gonzalez. He's in charge of that. As we take a walk down the aisle here, through the pews, and this glorious uh, place that's got so much illumination, can you tell us about the stained glass and the significance? Well, each window represents uh, different uh, times of the year of our church, from the land to the advent, crucifixion, all that. And as we go around, you can see all that. It, it represents the whole year of the Lutheran uh, beliefs that we have here. How long has this church been here in Anaheim? This particular building has been here since 1971. Uh, the church itself was uh, uh, started in uh, 1903, and it was in uh, German. The service was in German, and then during the First and Second World War, things changed a little bit by mandate. They didn't want the services in German because of the conflicts in Europe. So we have been having in, in English uh, services uh, ever since here. Well, we're stopped here in front of this great illumination of light and color with a flame um, in some kind of a, is that a, a statue or a fountain? What is that? This is, uh, this is our baptismal fountain. So this yeah. this, uh, this uh, window represents that you can see Pretty much everybody is uh, uh, on, a, on a prayer position or looking up to the sky where we're there, we're preaching, we're, we're uh, honoring God in our, our um, uh, you can see the top of that is, is a, a Bible in there and then in the middle you can see Jesus there. And you can see the elements of a communion the wine and the bread. Yes, I see the cup. Yeah. And here you said this is a baptismal fountain. It has a flame on the top or light? It, it, it is a light. It, it, it has done, that is done during the, when we have a, a, a baptism in here. This top swings so we can have for convenience for the little kids. So when we pour the water, you know, on the head. It doesn't spread all over. The, and, the, yeah. and these uh, services are in Spanish and English? The service, we have three services every Sunday. Uh, one is at 8.30, which is our traditional service, and we have, we have another one at 10 o'clock, which is our contemporary service. And at 12 o'clock, we have it in Spanish. All the, the, the usually the classes for the kids, the Sunday class and, and uh, also the youth, uh, those services are done in English because as a second generation, that is their base language. But parents come and, and have the service in Spanish at 12. And the kids, we, we have a youth pastor and a lady that takes care of Sunday school, which is the, 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 uh, the wife of our pastor, Felipe. Well, we're going to take a look at the altar with you. Can you tell us a little bit about the altar? Sure. Let's, let's do. We, we, have, we have here um, this... Uh, 12 figures that are representing the, the 12 apostles, of course. And then we have the cross, which is on the shape of a, a sword. You know, in the old days, the warriors on the crusades, they used to put the, the sword on the, on the ground and, and pray. And that represented the cross. That's basically what that is. That's very different than any church we've ever been to. I've never heard that that that's representing a sword or have it correlate well, to the Crusades. Interesting. It, 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 it is a cross. It like, as you can see, we don't have the Christ in there because we believe that he, he during the resurrection, he is not, no longer in there. This, it, he was never on the cross after the, he was removed. His body was removed. And then we believe that after three days, he resurrected and, and he's in heaven, you know. Now you have a, something that you saved for the last here that you said there's some kind of a stained glass that's illuminated we're going to see in a minute. Oh yeah, I, I, I will turn on this. The center of that is a crown. This represents Christ in there, you know. And then 
this other section here on the bottom is the image uh, or simulation of the image of a dove, which is the Holy Spirit.